Hi, this is where I will give you advice I wish I had starting out as a physiotherapist. I'm a semi-retired physio with over 30 years of experience. I've worked in hospitals, outpatient clinics, sports medicine, and nursing homes. And now I'm here to share my experience and wisdom with you. But this isn't just another blog with the three best exercises for plantar fasciitis or how to cure your back pain in five minutes. We need a framework to know where we are and a process to do things better. So what I struggled with over my years of working was creating mental models and logical structures based on the patients I was seeing and their response to those treatments. Physio school teaches a lot of specific knowledge, like the origin and insertion for supraspinatus. School was great for that. But school presented a lot of simple patient problems, and in real life, patients were never simple. So over the years, after seeing thousands of patients, I developed my own approach that's simple, functional, and effective. That's what I want to share here with you. This is what I wish I had when I was a younger physio. Three disclaimers before we dive in. First, this is mostly about adult orthopedics and geriatrics. We won't specifically be covering other areas of physiotherapy. Second, uh, draw your own conclusions. Always do your own research and think for yourself. I'm not here to argue with anyone. I'm here to share my experience and my knowledge. Three, some of my ideas might be different than yours, or even controversial, but that's okay. This is how we learn and grow from each other. Also, this is a legacy project, a way for me to share my passion for physiotherapy and help move the profession forward. Too many physios are working in isolation. Too many are working without those meaningful discussions that let us learn from each other. I've worked with, with some great therapists, some great co-workers, but some have retired, some have moved away, and some have died. So it's important to foster these relationships. We need to stop working to just get through our patient list today, and we need to talk about what is working and what isn't working. This is what I'm sharing here. This is what I've been thinking and rethinking over the last 30 years. So I realize that not everybody gets to work in a loving, nurturing environment. I know some of the places I've worked were total crap. But that's why I'm here. We need to share physio ideas that are beyond what we learned in physio school. I have two examples. One is back pain and one is Delorme's three sets of 10 exercises. First, for back pain, well, isn't that a sticky situation? You tell me your approach to back pain and it tells me how you approach everything else in physiotherapy. Are you using the mechanical medical model or the biopsychosocial model? Is, there, is it exercise-based or education-based or manual therapy? Do you focus on pain or movement patterns or function? Um, do all your patients end up getting Williams flexion exercises from the 1930s anyways? Or McKenzie's extension exercises from the 1950s? Or maybe you've embraced Stuart McGill's research-based approach from the 1990s? So instead of arguing about this stuff, we need a safe, functional approach. Uh, whether it's an elderly patient with ba balance issues or somebody with acute radiating symptoms or somebody who had back surgery. Treatments must be safe, simple, and effective and specific for that patient on that particular day. Uh, my second example is the Delorme's exercise protocol of three sets of 10 reps. This is from a paper in 1948. Go ask Google if there's alternatives to the Delorme exercise protocol for therapeutic, ex therapeutic exercises. There's a bunch. So it's not that three sets of 10 is wrong, but I wonder if we can be doing better. I think about this stuff. That's why I'm here. I've seen lots of patients. I've seen of lots of what other therapists are doing with different patients. And it makes me wonder, there has to be more to physio than just doing what you did yesterday. Is this really your calling or just a job? Uh, Mick job. I've seen too many people push, push, push just to make money. I know healthcare is big business, but we can do better with this stuff. We can do it sustainably and we can do it ethically. I don't have all the answers. I wish somebody had given me a boost like this earlier in my career, and that's what led me here. I've already written two books. One is Physio Note Writing and one is Exercise Selection. Check them out on Amazon. I was going to write a third book, but the outline grew huge, so I decided instead to share that information here. I have a whole bunch of ideas. I've packaged them up in these little videos, and these videos are grouped into five major topic sections. Building relationships, the context of physiotherapy, core principles of physiotherapy, expert insights in clinical practice, and unsolved challenges in physiotherapy. So join me on this journey as we explore the world of physiotherapy together, and let's make a positive impact on patients' lives. Thank you.